It's Tasmania's second largest hospital and it's in the headlines again for all the wrong reasons. But it's never been worse than it is now. In what's the latest in a series of adverse findings, Coroner Simon Cooper criticised the Launceston General Hospital over the death of an 83-year-old woman from a heart issue, the hospital's poor record-keeping hampering his inquiry. In his investigation of the woman's death last year, Coroner Cooper found that the absence of critical information, an absence he says remains unexplained by the hospital, makes a consideration of the circumstances surrounding death practically impossible. It is the eighth coronial finding that's been critical of the hospital in the past six years. Among the others, a finding in May this year that the life of a 19-month-old baby girl may have been saved if the hospital followed correct procedures. In another case, medical staff misdiagnosed a 77-year-old woman, leading to her death at home shortly after being discharged, and a coroner found in 2021 that poor medical treatment led to the entirely avoidable death of a 56-year-old man. If there's not a proper investment and proper change in the way that health services are delivered, then the outcomes for patients are just going to continue to be reported in the way they have been by the coroner. The Tasmanian government's concentrating on providing um, fit-for-purpose health services right across the state. Uh, when there are adverse findings like that, we take them into account um, to improve services going forward. A Department of Health spokesperson said they take coronial matters very seriously and findings are carefully reviewed regardless of if any formal recommendations were made. They said that in the hospital's most recent quality and safety accreditation, they passed all eight standards. Erin Cooper-Douglas, ABC News.